Tunisian authorities say more than 50 migrants have drowned off the coast of the North African country, while 33 others were rescued by workers from an oil platform. Defense Ministry spokesman Mohamed Zekri said that a boat carrying the migrant sack Monday off Sfax on Tunisia's southeast coast. He said Navy units were sent to search the water for missing passengers. About 90 migrants were said to be on board. A spokesperson for the Mediterranean Coordination Office of the International Organization of Migration said on Twitter that the 33 survivors were all from Bangladesh. And at least more than 6,000 migrants from Morocco have arrived in the Spanish enclave of Quita on the north coast of Africa. The Spanish government said the number is believed to include some 1,500 teenagers. EU Commissioner for Home Affairs, Ilva Johnson, says migrants soaked in seawater can be seen on shore as Spanish police try to prevent them from reaching the enclave. The sudden influx of migrants has strained relations between Rabat and Madrid. The UN Refugee Agency says it is deeply concerned that people fleeing violence in northern Mozambique are being refused asylum in neighboring Tanzania and are being forcibly returned. The UNHCR says it has received worrying reports that 1,500 people have been turned back this month and several thousand since the beginning of the year. Some had trekked for days. Following a jihadist attack on the Mozambican town of Palma in March, tens of thousands of Mozambicans have fled their homes. Three quarters of a million people have been displaced since the conflict started in 2017. And the head of the World Health Organization said on Tuesday that the conflict in Tigray is horrific. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, who is from Tigray, said many people were dying. And he said almost 5 million people need humanitarian aid. 91% need food aid and many people have started dying actually because of hunger. He added that severe and acute malnutrition is becoming rampant and the destruction of health services was adding further strain to the crisis. Many international leaders and aid agencies have been calling for full humanitarian access and an end to the blocking of aid. But the Ethiopian government said in a statement on Monday that aid agencies had free access to the region. Thousands have been killed and hundreds of thousands have been displaced since Ethiopian and Eritrean troops entered the region. And former South Africa's president, Jacob Zuma, says he remains unbowed. Zuma said he is ready to face his adversaries in court. He spoke to a crowd of supporters after his court appearance over graft allegations. The corruption trial of South Africa's scandal-tainted Jacob Zuma was postponed once again on Monday, this time to May 26th, as backers of the former president staged a boisterous show of support. Zuma faces 16 charges of fraud, graft and racketeering relating to a 1999 purchase of fighter jets, patrol boats and military gear from five European armed firms uh, for 30 billion rand. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.